I'm here with John Amendez, the former chief of disguise for the CIA, and Jason Hansen, a former CIA officer and a security specialist. Guys, thanks so much for coming down here. Thank you. Guys you guys having Thank some you. fun here already? <laughs> the crowds are getting We were talking crazy. about we're the only two people dressed like normal people, so it's good. <laughs> Must these, be from the East Coast, these huh? These are our costumes. Those That's are your right. costumes. Okay, you guys are also going undercover here. <laughs> guys, thanks for being down here. We really appreciate it. Let's talk about the art of disguise. Jason, let's start off with you. Both of you guys have books that came out recently. This is fascinating stuff mm. when we're talking about the art of disguise. You've got a couple key ways that you can detect if someone's lying, okay? So let's pretend you know what I had for breakfast. I'm gonna tell you, I had Wheaties for breakfast today. Lying, telling the truth, what do you think? Well, you're telling the truth because of the head nod. So the head never lies. <laughs> yes, okay. So if you would have said something like, I had Wheaties for breakfast, obviously it wouldn't be that obvious. Sure. So our mouths are good at lying, but we can't control our body language. You just saw the Superman shirt and said he must have had his Wheaties today. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's what it was. All right, let's talk a little bit about um, your time in the CIA. You spent seven years in the CIA and you saw a lot of things go down. You know how things go down. The art of like handing off a message. There's something to this, right? What do you look so for? So I'll share with you a very simple brush pass. Okay. So a brush pass Let's means- Let's do this, yeah, I mean, show I'm us. walking by you. Okay. You know, I'm in a crowd, we have to act, na act natural. I'm like a Russian spy or yeah, something, Yeah, you're a Russian right? spy. Okay. You know, I'm your contact. Now, sure. you don't want to just pass a piece of paper because okay. it's too light, it could fall. So this Blow one right away. here, I don't know if the camera can see it. Sure. I've weighed it down with a quarter. And this is what people do. Perhaps, okay. maybe, I imagine. Sure. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wink, wink. Gotcha. wink, wink, yeah. Those so, are top secret, confidential, yes. The, the critical thing is when you and I are going past each other, is you got to keep walking and act natural. Uh huh. So the biggest mistake is if we walked, you know, past each other, I hand it to you, and all of a sudden you look around and just, you know, take off unnatural. Right, right. Okay, so, so okay, so you've got to make sure that it's not too obvious, right? Right. So, if you were sitting in a bar and I passed you, and all of a sudden you got up from the bar, it would stand out. So you've got to keep drinking and acting like a natural human being would act. Okay, the feet too are very important as the way they're, they're presented, right? Tell right. us about that. As I mentioned earlier, we're terrible at controlling our body, but we're good at lying with our mouths. Okay. So if you and I are comfortable in being honest, our feet are naturally pointed towards each other. But if my feet are pointed away and you're asking me a question, what is making me uncomfortable? What am I lying to you about? So uh, look down the next time you're with somebody. I want to say, escape your interview right, right. right why, now. Why are you trying like, to get away from uh, me? I'm trying to get away from this guy. My feet are pointed over here. Something okay. is going on that you don't like about me. You've got to figure it out. I'm going to pass this note back to you without anyone seeing <laughs> it. Right. Oh, wow, well, look yeah, at right. that over there. Uh, Jonna, let's talk a little bit about um, the art of disguise with you. I mean, your story also equally incredible. You actually pulled a prank on George H.W. Bush at one point, right? You showed up in disguise. Can you tell us about that moment? How awesome. You know, he was head of CIA at one yeah. point, and we had done some disguise work with him, very light disguise. I went to show him our latest, our newest, uh, our, our mask technology. It was brand new. We did animated masks. You could, you could have a conversation sure. up close. It was quite believable. So I was briefing him wearing a mask, told him I'm going to show him the newest techniques. He said, well, where, where's your stuff? I said, I'm wearing it. I'm going to take it off. He said, no, don't take it off yet. He got up, walked around behind me, went back, sat at his desk, said, take it off. So I did the Tom Cruise no. reveal. And that was the reveal. And he just lit up like a Christmas tree. He, really, he really liked it. Incredible. John Sununu was sitting next to me. He almost fell off his chair. Yeah. He, he wasn't paying attention. But the photographer came out into the secretary's office because I was the first to leave. And she said, what did you do? She was taking pictures in there. What was that? I said, I can't tell you. It's classified. <laughs> so it took 10 years to get the picture. And the picture I'm holding up, nothing, because they airbrushed it out. <laughs> so that That's picture great. is in my library and it's hysterical. That's great. Let's talk a little bit more about um, masks, okay, and, and the evolution of masks, and the, the, the connection that Hollywood had with helping the CIA. I had no idea about this. Can you elaborate? My husband's name was Tony Mendez, and he was very connected to a lot of people out in L.A., mm -hmm. special effects, makeup, magic community. He worked with a man named John Chambers, who did the masks for Planet of the Apes, and we were very taken with that technology. Uh -huh with the fit, with the realism. We didn't want to make anybody into a monkey, but right, it was right. a beginning. Right. So we took their materials, their techniques, and we refined them. 
uh, into a, a disguise system that you could put on in the dark in a car in five seconds, out of your pocket, and it just would go on. It was registered. No mirror, no lights, yeah. and you could wear it. You could also take it off like that. No adhesive, no residue, no retakes, yeah. no special lights. Um, and we use those masks extensively. Guys, disguise is so important in what our government does. I mean, we're not just talking about cedar makeup here. We're talking about people's lives depend on this type of stuff. We're getting key information here, right, and, guys? And, and your field, I mean, our disguises became a sort of body armor. Sure. It, they became not nice to have, but a protective mm -hmm. uh, right. layer right. between you and a terrorist. Or yeah, they're not comfortable in many cases. Sure. But the stakes are so high, you're going to deal with the discomfort. You know, when you're when it's yeah. life or death in situations, who cares if it's hot or it's sweaty or this and that? So it's not like walking around the streets no, where you right? just rip it off anytime you get hot. How long does this type of stuff take to, to, to change someone's persona, to change their, their face? This has got to be something that takes hours, I would imagine. You have to think it through. Yeah. What is it that people remember about me? What do they notice? For me, it's my walk. Evidently, I have a funny walk. So the first thing I do is put something in a shoe. And then, and then you just go up and down. I use my hands a lot, so put something in my hands. Those kinds of things. And addressing your, 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 your face is not hard. If you yeah. have short hair, I give you long hair. If sure. you have blonde hair, I give you dark hair. If you're clean shaven, I give you facial hair. If you have facial hair, I'm sorry. If you're serious, you have to shave it Gotta off. Gotta shave it off. <laughs> Jason, uh, a lot of people wonder, does the media, movies, film, TV do a good job of showing what the CIA is like? <laughs> I bet you watch some of these 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 films and TV shows and goes, nah, not quite. But do they hit the mark sometimes? Every once in a while, they clearly have a good consultant. Yeah. Um, but a lot of times, I always say, if Hollywood showed what it was really like, they wouldn't sell many movie tickets. <laughs> okay. So it's a lot of very sure. hard behind the scenes work yeah. uh, that is not super sexy and exciting, yeah. but it's critical. You guys are here from the East Coast participating in a panel. Um, you know, what what, do you, what was enticing about that for you guys? Why, why did you guys say, you know what, I, I think people are gonna find this story really interesting. I mean, why did you wanna come to Comic-Con 2019? It's a, it's a new generation of, of younger people who probably don't have a clue. You know, they made a movie about my husband called Argo. Yes. And there's a generation that knows who he is right. and how that worked. But I would bet that a lot of the people here have never heard of the movie Argo. So it's a whole new opportunity. Yeah. Great. Subject hey guys, thanks so much for coming in. We Thank really you. appreciate it. What an incredible story.